Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care of You. I hope you're all well. Uh, and today we're going to do a session where we're going to implement collapsible sections in SharePoint pages. Now, a couple of months ago, I uploaded a video where I was showing two different types of accordion that you could put in your SharePoint tenant. Um, and I've had some negative feedback on that video because it wasn't showing enough of the step-by-step -step on how to, to build and implement it. So for this video, we're going to just use collapsible sections, a SharePoint page, and build out an accordion. So as you can see here, I've got an FAQs accordion, and I'm just going to rebuild this. So we'll get straight into it. So I'm just going to show you what I've actually built. So we've just got SharePoint page, frequently asked questions, and I've just added these collapsible sections here. So, you know, what is SharePoint? You can expand that and see what's SharePoint, what's Power Apps, etc. So we're just going to build this from scratch. Now, another thing that I'm going to add onto this as well is how to add this page into your Microsoft Teams. So you might have a frequently asked questions team. I've really seen it, but, you know, I think it could help people if you made it like an, an, an open team so, so anyone can access the frequently asked questions. And as you can see in that team, I've brought in that frequently asked questions page as well. So again, I think it'd be good if everyone has access to this. This was just a public team. You could come in here and see all the frequently asked questions. Um, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to our SharePoint site here and I'm going to create a new page. And we will just do blank for now. And I will call this FAQs demo. And I'm just going to change the header on this. So that one, so it's a lot smaller. Uh, and then I'm just going to set the image for that background. So again, you know, with, with Microsoft using those stock images, uh, you know, it's great to quickly set things up in SharePoint these days. Uh, and the stock images that they provide are all great. So let me just put Office. I'll use this one of the nice, nice side of a building. Okay, so I'll just remove that as well. So you can keep that on if you want. So what you can see now, okay, so as you can see, we've got our first section here. We can add our web parts in. Um, but what we're going to do to make this an expandable section is if you click edit section along the left here, and then if you can see this little section here where it says make this section collapsible, so we just switch that on, that'll straight away update and add you add a few more settings and a few different things now that this is an expandable section. So first things first, we want to name this expandable section. So what is SharePoint? And then we can put our web part in that. So again, you know, with, with the functionality of these sections, you can you can change any expandable or collapsible section to whatever you want. So you can include any images, any text, whatever web parts are available. You could even put a YouTube video in there, and then that'll just expand and collapse with whatever you want to add. So um, I'll just for now, I'll just put the text in. And I'm just going to go back to the settings of this collapsible section. So because we've made this, oh, bear with me one sec, let's go into the next section. Just move that into this collapsible section. So now in our collapsible section, if I just click back onto the edit pane here, so you can see a couple more things here. So you can turn on the divider lines or turn them off. So that adds a line at the bottom of your collapsible section and then you know, if you've got multiple collapsible sections that'll just separate them out you've got the alignment of your arrows so you can align the arrow this arrow to the right or the left it uh, depends on how you want that displayed and then with this default display as well you can have it expanded or collapsed now on that image i see show before i've got all these set to collapse so you can just sort of quickly see what different types of categories are in this FAQs. A lot of the time as well, you might just have the first one expanded. So you could set the first one to be expanded and then everything else below that collapsed. Again, that's that's just however you want to have your um your car your accordion. So there's our first section there. So another thing that I've done as well is I just sort of set the background for each section just to split it out a bit. So we'll add another one as well. Again, with these sections, you can have the different columns that you want and still make it a, co a collapsible section. So for this next one, I'll do this one. What is Power Apps? Let's 
That's all text. even add an image on the right here so I've got a power apps image already and there you have it so I'll leave that the background for that one white I'll just set the um, the arrow to be aligned right just to make it consistent and then as well you know just for quick quick use you can even um you can even duplicate these so you just make a couple of sections it just turns off the collapsible so make that collapsible Okay, so there you have it. So let me just change the background to this to make it consistent. And there we can see that. So what I'm going to do with this. So now that we've got our page, so we can publish that. There's our uh, accordion and collapsible sections all done. I'm going to copy this address. And I'm just going to go and add this as another tab in the Microsoft Teams. So if you come over to Teams, you go to the, the, uh, the team which you want to add this page to. You can click your little plus here. And then you've got a SharePoint link here. So obviously with the, the way the team's set up, this is saying we can add it from the team that was within this. If you've created that page within that team, then that's fine. You can access that here from pages. However, because I've done this on a different site, I'm just going to paste the link here. Click save and then that will pull that page in. And there you have it. So there's obviously an error with how that top section has been removed. Let me just fix that. Push that. If I just click back to this, that should reload that page. And there you can see, so there's our FAQs demo. There's all of our things. As you can see, Power Automate was set to be expanded by default. I think the rest of them were as well. Um, but there you have it. So that there you can see how we can add an accordion. This this doesn't have to just be with FAQs. You know, I've seen many different situations where you would want an accordion. Um, I've just used FAQs for this example, but I hope this video helps. You know, I do apologize for that other video. Um, hopefully this will help solve some of those issues. And just please comment. And, and you know, if you want anything else doing, please comment. Please like and subscribe to the video. And uh, take care. Thank you very much.